Hello my soccer universe! Uh, last one with international jerseys, I decided um, there was one part of internationals that was taking place that I didn't pay any uh, attention to at all or just a, uh, a little bit of a glimpse although it's probably my second favorite continent when it comes to soccer which is of course Africa. We are going to talk about any results as you saw in the video. I want to show you uh, my African jerseys um, and I'm going to show you more or less all of this because I'm wearing Cameroon 2002 home the West jersey. I went for the FIFA World Cup look where they added black sleeves. I mean, I took a t-shirt, they actually sewed on sleeves to the jersey. So you get the whole 2002 experience here. This is a super fine jersey, uh, but I think I've shown it enough around, but it is. I, and I also wanted to keep it only to one jersey by country. Uh, quite a few jerseys. Um, Cameroon, I have two, actually three, because as you know, in the latest unpacking video, uh, my wife got also Cameroon jerseys. It was long sleeve, pretty nice, the 12, 13, it was the huge lion print all over it. That was a, that's a really nice jersey that I actually wanted to get for myself a few times already as well. But then I said, you know, you already have two Cameroon shirts and you have maybe the second most famous Cameroon jersey of all time. When it comes to Cameron jerseys, I think number one is the one from 1990 World Cup, which is the one that I always wanted. But honestly, if you look at it, it doesn't look like much Cameron with the white down there. But uh, that's an absolute classic. I think this is the Cameron shirt uh, there. Then the vest, I think, is now is number two, and the number three is the one that came after the bodysuit, more or less, where they had one uh, the onesie <laughs> in a way. Um, where I also was thinking, because in classic football shirts, you, you uh, there was a time when you could buy them, but I, I, have, to, I have to say, it never looked quite right <laughs> to me. I wouldn't see myself wearing this, but I was intrigued, especially getting yellow one. I would like to get a yellow um, Cameron jersey, and to be honest, the one that probably sticks but the most for there is either 2014 World Cup or even more the 2010 World Cup. Uh, but for the 2010 World Cup, we'll get a few jerseys in there because those are my overall favorite African jerseys because it was distinctively made for Africa and the way they put on the shoulder always something from that country I really, really, really like. So um, just going there. I'm planning to go through this jersey uh, by age, so we'll start with the oldest one, which would be this one, but you see it already. Classic. Uh, and then, you know, a little bit, but you know, we don't want to have a super huge video. So the first one that I want to start with is actually the first, is uh, coincidentally also the first African country that I ever visited, which is Tunisia. In 96 I was in Tunisia. This is actually the jersey worn in the 2005 Africa Cup of Nations, the same design that they won the F, uh, not uh, Confederations Cup. Uh, at the AFCON they wore the same design but without the star because they didn't have, uh, they haven't won the AFCON yet. This was the first and only time so far that Tunisia has won it. I have to say it's a rather simple template. Everything is kind of painted on, which either means that this is a very uh, good fake, but I actually think this is not a fake, that this is just a, a, a cheap way of selling this jersey, because overall it's done quite well, I have to say. But you know, it could be a fake. I actually would have to check this, because it just, uh, the whole painted on thing is a little bit suspicious, let's let, let put it that way. But you know, uh, it has the breathing uh, material, it says Tunisia on the back and it has a little bit of flag. Overall, I think it is nice, it, it's a nice shirt, I really like the color and I actually like this Tunisia crest a whole lot more than what they then came, came up a little bit later. So Tunisia this I also have seen, I think it's the only African team that I've seen live because I saw Spain play Tunisia at the 2006 World Cup, so yeah. I have some relationships with Tunisia there. The next one is of course the uh, first African shirt that I ever got and my favorite African nation. Gotta be Cameroon. 1990 World Cup was my first World Cup and Cameroon uh, was always my favorite team. This is the f I got this ahead of the 2010 World Cup. I ho was hoping that Cameroon will do well, they didn't. But just look at the lion here. I mean, the one thing is, Thanks to this Cameroon uh, crest, the line is maybe a little bit too much put out on the sleeve. 
But you know, for every cup of nations, you have a new lion here, very, very fierce, uh, instead of this more calm lion that's on this one here. Yeah, I really, I have to say, I really like this template, especially with this all the ventilation on the back. But there are a few var variations of this template, and I'm gonna show you now the next one because my second ever Africa shirt was from the same World Cup, this um, Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, with the elephant. I mean, about as cool as the lion is an elephant. Uh, and I got this from Classic Football Shirts where I know I could have... I think they had about uh, three or four pounds difference between uh, the same shirt and I decided to go with this one. And I got a more basic version because it doesn't have all the uh, patterning that is on the, on the back. And uh, this web is also not as see-through. So I... I want to know more about the di about the di 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 differences, but uh, since it's from classic football shirts, I assume that this is still a valid jersey. It's just a more basic version of it. So yeah, really like that. Uh, that one's a slightly different tone of orange, and you know the Cote Cote d'Ivoire is always a nice team to watch. They have, have always been unlucky at the World Cups. I have I have to say, they usually got tough draws, uh, and the one time they could get out of it, they completely messed it in 2014. Same range and a next a s again a slightly different pattern, but uh, again I checked it. This 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 one she got is the Algeria jersey, also from from the World Cup. The Fennec here on the sleeve and this strikeout zone is a lot bigger than on the other jer uh, jersey. It also doesn't feature this see-through material on both sides. However, what it does have, and but no 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 not for the entire back is the see-through pattern. It's just on the bottom here, so a slightly different style. But still, uh, if I look here on the sleeves, it looks very, very nice and quite uh, good. Uh, the tags match up with whatever I have. And I actually check on classic football shirts when they were selling this. It really has a very similar line. So uh, just a slightly different style. If you know more about it, let me know. But I really like it, especially for the Fennec. The jersey is a little bit tight, tight to me, but Algeria at the moment is the team in Africa, so I needed to get an Algeria jersey, and that was always my favorite. Although I have, have to say those light green ones that they had at the same World Cup and then a little bit thereafter are also quite nice, and now they have the Fennec here on the back. So yeah, Algeria, another African uh, team. We'll stay in North Africa and that's the last one I have from this range and that's the, the only one that was not at the World Cup. I really would like to have the Angola one. That looks awesome. Um, I probably can get the Ghana one relatively easy and also Tunisia. Uh, I'm thinking about it. But we're talking about Morocco. Uh, the Egypt one is the other one that I really would like. like, like although I had the chance and I twice uh, said, okay, not now because not the time. For all the teams that I'm showing you, Egypt is the one glaring omission in a way. The other one, probably the Democratic Republic of the Congo. This Morocco shirt is double XL, so it's a little bit looser, but it has the very see-through sleeves and the pattern here is the star from the flag. I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see it quite well. It's really, really nice. I actually love the crest. This is very similar to the Cameroon jer uh, jer jersey with the see-through sleeves here and here. And of course, the entire back with that pattern going on. So yeah, very nice, very sweet jer uh, jersey. I really like it, especially the way it looks. It's, it's a great looking shirt. And I like my Morocco jerseys in green way more than I, li than, than, than I, li I like them in red. I can except the red, but uh, for some, some reason I like green more. Let's move on, 2012. Uh, my wife's Cameron jersey I could show you, but I'm just gonna, gonna show you another one, uh, male jersey, which is this South Africa one. That was, uh, I wanted to get a South Africa jersey because that's the only other African country that I've ever been to, 2003. And at the time I only got rugby jerseys, go figure. So um, we have to we have here the soccer jer jerseys. To be honest, South Africa, I really would like to have either the 96 or even better than one for a 98 World World Cup. Those copper jerseys are really, really classic. Then Adidas came in, produced, I think the first one was still interesting with um, some bands in different colors and then they came with the yellow. And I have to say, maybe for the 2009 Confederations Cup, they had something interesting. Um, the 2010 World Cup, I was actually a little bit disappointed, I'm even most disappointed that um, you could get the jersey only with the South African Federation crest, but hardly ever with the Protea flower. This is what I really want, want to have. 
for 2012 Puma, uh, they had them to switch to Puma. They got this really nice jersey. I mean, it's still the yellow that we are used to now. But what I really like uh, is the Rainbow Nation. So we have a, a couple of rainbow uh, hills or, or, or whatever down there, which adds a nice touch to the jersey. Uh, that range is underrated. I have, I have to say, I saw, I mean, for Cameroon, we had the all over Lion. For Egypt, they had hieroglyphs all over. That's one of, I mean, the two Egypt jerseys is, is, is the one with Tutankhamun here and the other one with the hieroglyphs. I mean, one of those two, they are just amazing jerseys, I have to say. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's a really, really nice uh, shirt. It actually is probably almost one of my go-to African shirts. Uh, and, and I actually got used to uh, South Africa being in green. I also find the color in, in, in interesting with the point here and then a little bit of foreshadowing what Nike would do. But here I didn't mind it that much as I do it with the Nike template that you see back there on the Portugal shirt. And then it comes all back. Uh, it has a slightly better look to me. But you know, my, my opinion. For 2014 World Cup, um, we had also very unique African jerseys and I have to say the Cameroon ones are still the ones that probably look best, but the Ghana away comes close. Yes, there are stars instead of lions on there, but this overall pattern, and this is the away jersey, is just amazing. I mean, uh, this is right from the like, cave paint paintings, a little bit inspired. Um, the home jersey was probably a little bit too crazy with having, uh, you know, it was white and then having uh, this pattern here on the sleeves, a little bit weirdly wrapped around the collar. And then uh, what the uh, Cote d'Ivoire had was a little bit uh, boring. Uh, it just in, or in or orange and green, a little bit pattern here. So the all over prints were only Ghana and Cameroon. And I think Ghana did it overall quite well. This is a player version, but not a tight player version. And you have the Federation Crest, which is probably one of the few Federation Crests where I am uh, say, okay, that 70s soccer ball is okay-ish. I still would like to see something different here. But yeah, uh, maybe there's a need for putting a little bit, little bit more star, but just look at the pattering. It is absolutely amazing. The back is plain. It is a really, really nice jersey. And I actually, I mean, my Ghana go to jersey with the one, the away jersey from the 2010 World Cup. I would like to have a white one, but I have to say, for me, Ghana was always either yellow with some black or uh, I really like the red. So, but uh, the latest creations, especially from uh, far from a Puma, have been a little bit too crazy for my taste. Moving on. Probably my second favorite. African team is Burkina Faso going back to the 98 AFCON of nations where I just fell in love with them because it was played in Burkina Faso and if you have a country with such great city names as Ugadugu and Bobo Diolasso I mean how much and then the team was actually playing quite nicely I remember this third place playoff against the Democratic Republic of the Congo where up until the 80th minute they were up 4-1 the tiny nations of Burkina Faso 4-1 up and then they managed to uh, throw this away to a 4-4 and losing in a penalty shoot -up. One of the craziest games I've ever seen. But uh, in a way, I fell in love with Burkina Faso. They did very well in 2013 in South Africa. Uh, they also didn't do that bad in 2017 when they wore this nice jersey from Kappa. Um, I knew I needed to get sooner or later a Burkina Faso jersey. When they were at the AFCON, they were not present at the AFCON in 2019. However, I saw this and I was mostly intrigued. This was a player version with the combat skin. I was really intrigued how this super, because it's an ultra tight fitting, uh, will go. And it's really ultra tight fitting. It's so much fun to wear this. This is super stretchy. Uh, just look what I can do to this Kappa logo here. It's absolutely crazy. And even the Uomini logo here on the sleeves uh, can stretch out quite some. I can tell you, I may not look pretty in this, but this is one of the most comfortable jerseys to wear. It just hugs you tight, you feel warm. And when my girls, I mean, they love horses, when they saw this crest, yeah, that was that, that was it. The only thing I have to say, when you look at this, I don't know what the eyes are of the horses. Is it up front here? Is it back there? Are, are those the ears? It's a little bit weird looking if you check it out a little bit closer. Very interesting is this backside, 
with this kind of riffled material uh also this is even more stretchy but it it, it has a very it has quite some plasticity to it wonderful jersey absolutely wonderful uh, jersey it's uh, by design it's not the, the design is not very uh exciting per se although the colors are, are, are nice but the way it wears it's just uh something else i have to i have, I have to say uh, and you can see it already how tight it actually is. And my wife loves, loves it too. And it looks even better on her than on me. Let's go to some. Let's end it with some real bangers. In 2017, uh, Senegal switched from Puma to Romai, and the home jersey that got released was this incredible jersey. My, in my opinion, this is the best jersey of 2017. Um, I got it before. Uh, before the, the day before the final uh in 2019 between senegal and all algeria because i knew i needed to get a senegal jersey i was going back and forth shall i get the green one from the world cup or shall i get this one i saw this on ebay yeah you gotta get this one it's just look at the lion pattern this it cost a little bit more but it was just perfect just perfect I absolutely love this one. This is an excellent, excellent jersey. It's also super lightweight, but the design is just something else. Uh, I have to say, I've never was sold on the um, green sleeve here, but you know, I don't mind, mind it either. But all about this lion here, that's this is African jerseys at their best. Speaking of African jerseys at their best, um, I had some trouble uh at first with this design from nigeria i have to say my nigeria ideal nigeria jersey probably from 98 world cup or even 94 with a darker green color and a little bit of white but then in 2002 they went in this lime green i was kind of eh, what's that but then this came out in 2018 i knew immediately that this was inspired by the 95 nike jersey that had the wings uh but it has a dark dark green base um I have to say it really took me a while to get used to. Uh, I think my only gripe that I have now is it is for me, it's the ultimate Nigeria jersey. Uh, I got so used to it and I've made so many videos on this one. Um, you know, because I had a fake, then I tried to figure out, like, I, I compared, then I finally got, got, got this one. This is actually the one for, released for 2009-19, as, as you can tell from tag, it's not for 2018. Uh, same thing it's just the tag is different um the one thing and that's the only thing i'm gonna really say about is that the pattern that looks very organic is actually this is a stripe here a stripe here and that they're just a little bit uh move move to this uh you know a little bit shifted to give this feather like look but i would have liked that there's that it's a little bit in more non-geometric way this is not clear that there are clear there's a clear straight line going through that making that a little bit more organic would have put this one over the top I don't dislike the current one. I still think this is a much, much better look. It's much more unique and it's set off the whole football shirt community into the fashion world. I'm finishing with the one that I'm most proud of and that I think is the most beautiful African jersey. And that I have it is for me already something special. <sighs> Ready? You know it already if you're a long time watcher. It's this amazing Mali 2019 away jersey by Airness. Getting this jersey, I mean, I saw it and I was always, I mean, I already like the 2017 was where, where the um, uh, wings were probably uh, a little bit uh, flatter, but they, they were ac ac actually proper wings. And this is the away jersey, the home jersey walls in yellow. Um, same design, the problem is you don't see the yellow here. So the wings get a little a little bit lost. That's why I decided on the silvery grayish one. Uh, and then I also have to, have to say, there is an even better version out there that you could on, only get in Mali where there were some gemstones in here. I mean, that would be the ultimate, but still, I'm even happy that I got this. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I have been looking for a jersey, for, for this jersey, and you could never get it at a regular store except on DHK. No, I'm not gonna buy from DHK. And then I had, I, I was, I remember I was lying in this room and I had the great idea. Why don't you check if there's an Airness store? And it took a few stores searches to get, get it right, but of course it's a store in all French. Of course they have this jersey. 
went to my wife. Are you okay if I buy this? I know it will cost me 60 euros, including shipping. This was the other thing. It was no, no, not, no, not even, 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 even that expensive. This was a time, you know, when you still could travel, our travel budget uh, was always competing with my jersey buying budget. So the Corona crisis helped me in that case. And I got this one. I love this one. Maybe, maybe you could have done a little bit. See the, the, the red line here, continued over the sleeve. There is a little bit inconsistency there. But other than that, this is my favorite jersey. Look at the golden, uh, the gold here, all the pattering on there. It's my favorite African jersey. I have to say, of national team jerseys, I think African jerseys are my absolute favorite ones to collect because they are so colorful, so different, and you get all those wild animal prints, which I just love. So those are definitely not the last African jerseys that I will ever get, but I usually try around a World Cup and an AFCON, and I'm going to cover next year's AFCON uh, for sure. That's where I then uh, go for African churches because I, I'm amazed of how great designs. And it started with, with Puma, I have to give them huge credit for that. You get really great stuff with Africa and it's very, re uh, very rewarding, especially if you have kids. Uh, they love those jerseys. So yeah, let me know which jerseys you liked in there the best. Uh, if you have any African jerseys, please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!